So the Celtics over the Mavs, 105 to 98. And we know the numbers trying to come back from a 2 0 deficit doesn't bode well for the Dallas Mavericks as the series now goes to Dallas. But the Celtics win it, and uh, the Celtics have won their last playoff series, six of them, when taking a 2 0 lead. And uh, the first team to have five or more players with at least 30 points through the first two games in the NBA Finals. The last time this happened was 1987 Lakers, I believe. She had Worthy and Byron Scott, Kareem, Michael Cooper, and Magic. You have a balanced attack here. We said when the series started that Dallas had to have a third person. Well, they need a second person because Kyrie has not played well at all. Now, Luka's getting you 30. And I said, he'll give you a triple-double, but that's not good enough. If Kyrie is not going to hit from three-point range, the team is two for 17. You just don't have a chance against a Boston team that hasn't had to play great basketball. You had Kristaps Porzingis in game one, Drew Holiday, game two, Derek White in there. You're not even saying, hey, Tatum and Brown, you got to put up big numbers. They haven't done that yet. This is a balanced team. What is underrated is their defense. They have a variety of players who can guard a variety of players. Now, you're not going to stop Luka. You can only hope to contain him. But they have stopped Kyrie. They have contained him. P.J. Washington. You know, you're going to need a superhuman effort by Luka and Kyrie to try to come back and win for the next five. But I'm not going to say it's not possible because I've been doing this a long time. You can never say never. It's not something that I do. But the odds are really, really, really long that you're going to be able to do it. Because I, now granted, you can say, hey, Dallas has kind of been in these games. Certainly last night, they were in the game. Yeah, they're in the game, but I never feel like they're going to win the game. There's a difference in that. They're kind of, they're kind of there. If you're looking at the overall tone of the game, it's Boston. And I'm still waiting for maybe that team effort. And, of course, if you don't get it in game three, then pretty much say goodnight here. Um, all right, poll question, Seton. Man, if you watch, too, uh, just how much Luka and Kyrie have to work for every single shot. Yeah, that's a great point. They, they must be exhausted. I mean, every single one is like some kind of, like, isolation, go this, go and cut in, cut back, do this, blah, 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 just to get a fadeaway that maybe they hit. Uh, man, they just must be wiped well you can see and paulie texted this to us last night in the group check uh text that uh he's gassed he was gassed now nine minutes to go you could see where luca was like <sighs> plus he didn't even go down at the other end of the floor he got knocked down and then he was like uh, i'll get you guys when you come back up here but yeah he, he's working uh, a lot more and he's not healthy uh Turning now the ball over a lot yeah yeah, yeah. It's got to be tough, too, to be one, like those two dudes and just look around and be like, can one of you guys just hit a couple shots, please? Yeah. Haven't had it yet. And granted, you could look at the margin of victory and go, well, all right, you know, hit a couple of threes. Yes, but they're not hitting those threes. And it almost feels like sometimes they're too wide open or they're, they're so contested. It's one or the other there. Meanwhile, with Boston, Drew Holiday's wide open. They're like, all right, we're going to check uh, Tatum and Brown. Let me see if uh, you can hit those big shots. And he has. Drew Holiday played really well, has played really well. Throw in Derek White, playing great defense. I mean, it's just a balanced attack. Now, poor Zingas, not sure. He says he's playing in game three. Uh, got re-injured again last night. But you know, now we got to see the best that Dallas has to offer. Here is uh, the Boston Celtics head coach, Joe Mazzula on the uh, individual players on Boston. I'm really tired of hearing about one guy or this guy or that guy and everybody trying to make it out to be um, anything other than Celtic basketball. And uh, everybody that play stepped on that court tonight made winning plays on both ends of the floor. That's the most important thing. Okay. And then Jason Tatum, he was asked about Jason Kidd talking about who's the best player on the Celtics. And Jay Kidd said it was Jalen Brown. Where well, here's Jason Tatum. I've been here before and, and we didn't win. And it's just like, you know, we're so close to what we're trying to accomplish. Why would I let my ego or, or feel my need to score all the points get in the way of that? Okay. I'm fine with that. I don't know if Jay Kidd goes, <laughs> go down in my lab here. What can I do? I'm going to create some controversy. Wow. 
how about this? I'm going to say Jalen Brown is the best player on the Celtics. Okay. You could say that he is playing the best on the Celtics. Maybe he's not the best player. Because Brian Scalabrini, former NBA player, joined us on Friday, and he does the Cel- he's a Celtics analyst, and he said, no, no, Jason Tatum's the best player because he's taken the best defender. Usually there's going to be two guys on him. Everybody else has the opportunity to then have an easier way, either to the hoop or hitting jumpers there. So Jason Tatum, you know, Tatum has had just a nice series so far. Hasn't had to do anything crazy. And Jalen Brown, same way. You haven't had to have a monster game out of anybody yet, but you will. But I think Jay Kidd trying to get into the Celtics' head of, how about this? I'm going to have those two. They'll be rivals on the same team. That'll do it. Uh, Maybe not. Yes, Mark. This feels like if the Celtics pull out this championship, it's going to be in 10 years. Hey, Tatum won finals MVP, MVP, right? No, no, no. Drew Holiday did. Really? It's going to be like that, like Iguodala that one year, not Steph Curry. Yeah, but Boston's played well, but Boston's a better team than Dallas. I think we get caught up in there's wishful, you know, reporting, wishful rooting. If you don't have a dog in the fight, you're like, man, I'd like to see Dallas. Luka, Kyrie, that'd be fun. Okay, Denver would have been a better matchup with the Celtics. I know it's only two games, but I said from the outset, Boston is a better team, and that's why they were going to win. Yes, Eden. That's going to be one of those things, too, when it's like uh, Tatum's up for the Hall of Fame and never won a Finals MVP. <laughs> That's where it comes back, where you're like, oh, my gosh. Oh, we did that. We've done that to Steph. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Never won a Finals MVP. Durant won those Finals oh. MVPs. Oh Andre Iguodala did. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs>